Hi everyone and welcome back to the 10 day challenge. Today is day three and we'll be focusing on our core today. So we got a short and fiery flow and I'd say let's get started right away. As per usual, um, listen to your body. You know your body best, so don't work into any pain. Just do what feels good to you. I'll try to offer modifications throughout. So see what feels best for you and let's get going. So we're gonna start today's class in Supta Baddha Konasana. So you bring the soles of your feet together to touch, knees fall out to either side of the mat, and we just come onto our backs, find a nice comfortable position, hands fall wherever it's, com wherever it's comfortable, maybe onto your belly, Maybe one hand onto your belly, one hand to, onto your heart. Maybe you want to close your eyes. And then just settle into your mat, deepening the inhalations, deepening the exhalations. Drawing the awareness within. Maybe you want to set an intention for your practice today. Maybe you want to offer it to someone you love, someone who needs a little extra energy today. Maybe that someone is you. Let's take a deep breath all together through the nose, fill up the lungs all the way to the top. Open your mouth and exhale, let it go. Inhale once more through the nose all the way to the top. Open the mouth and exhale, let it go. One last time, deepest, fullest inhale through the nose all the way to the top. Fill up your lungs. Open your mouth and exhale, sigh it out. Close your mouth, relax your jaw, draw your knees towards each other and hug your knees into your chest. Giving yourself some gentle rocks from side to side. Massaging the spine and then bringing your shins parallel to the ground, arms reach high towards the sky. Just gonna start warming up our core a little, so really engage the core, hugging the belly and the ribs in, drawing the belly down towards the ground. And then on an inhale, we lengthen our right leg, lengthen our right arm down as the left arm reaches overhead. Really pressing down the belly, and I'm bringing it back to center. Moving on to the left side, so lengthen the left leg. Left arm reaches, right arm reaches high, overhead, and bringing it back to center. Back to the right side, reaching along, left arm overhead, back to center, and we do the left side again. Lengthening your left leg, left arm down, right arm overhead, Bringing it back to center. Okay, one more time each side. So, right arm, right leg forward, left arm overhead, hugging that belly down, coming back to center, and we'll do the left side again. Right arm overhead, left leg, left arm forward, hugging the belly down, bringing it back to center, and hug your knees into your chest. Again, giving yourself a nice squeeze. Beautiful. Sliding your hands underneath your knees, starting to rock yourself forwards and backwards, massaging the spine, gaining some momentum. And then on your next rock forward, cross at the ankles, step it back to tabletop position. Toes can be either tucked or untucked, whatever feels best for you. 
And then just make sure your shoulders are over your wrists, your hips over your knees. We're just gonna move through some cats and cows here. So next inhale, drop the belly, tilt the pelvis, gaze comes up. Exhale, press the ground away, round through the spine, separate the shoulder blades. And then inhale, open the heart, gaze comes forward, tilt the pelvis, really draw those hands towards your knees to get an extra stretch through the abdominal wall. And then press the ground away as you exhale, separating the shoulder blades, finding your cat pose. Inhale to cow, so drop the belly, gaze comes up, opening the heart and then exhale rounding through the spine really pressing the ground away inhale come to neutral spine give yourself a nice shake here and then tuck your toes if they're not tucked already and send your hips back find your downward facing dog beautiful if this is your first downward facing dog of the day Take a moment to settle in, maybe pedal out the feet, shake the hips, shake the head. Whatever movement here feels good to you right now. When you're ready, find some stillness in your down dog. Next inhale, come high onto the balls of your feet, bend the knees, look between your hands and tiptoe your way all the way forward to the top of our mat. Find a nice ragdoll here to keep your feet hip width distance apart. Maybe you want to grab, grab opposite elbows. Head and shoulders relax. Maybe you want to bring your hands behind your knees, behind your back, whatever feels best to you right now. Just letting the upper body be heavy. Head and shoulders relax. Maybe you want to sway from side to side. Releasing any tension in the lower back. And then releasing your fingertips to the ground. Chin to chest, slight bend in the knees. We roll ourselves all the way up to standing. Head and shoulders are the last thing to come up. As they do, we roll our shoulders up, back and down. Beautiful, bring your hands to your heart center. Feet can be either hip width distance apart or we heel to them to touch. And then let's get started. So we're gonna move through sun salutation to warm up and then get started with our flow right away. We have two rounds today. And yeah, modify as you need it. Enjoy the class and let's get started right away. So inhale, hands high towards the sky, palms come to touch, exhale, hinging from the hips, we fold forward. Inhale to a long spine, gaze comes up, exhale, plant the hands, step it back to plank, lower your knees, lower your chest, lower your chin, untuck the toes, ripple yourself forward, find your cobra. Elbows draw towards each other, Engaging through the glutes, pressing into the tops of our feet. And then tuck the toes, send the hips back. Find your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Gonna get started with our flow right away. Notice that throughout the practice, throughout the session, you can always skip vinyasas. You can always come right back to downward facing dog or to child's pose, whatever you need. So let's get started. Inhale, right leg flips high towards the sky. Exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Inhale, lengthen, right leg towards the sky. Exhale, we twist, right knee, left elbow. One more time, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Straightening out that right leg, pivoting onto your left foot. Reaching left arm towards the sky, finding your fallen triangle. Now from here, bend into your left knee, squat down, left arm reaches towards left foot, and we'll bring it back up. Exhale, bring your 
left hand down to the ground, pivot onto the balls of your left foot, inhale, left leg high towards the sky, exhale, right knee to nose, flex the foot, step it between your hands, and I'm pressing down into our feet, we float up, find a high lunge, squaring off the hips, straightening that left leg, left heel reaches towards the ground, arms reach high towards the sky. Exhale, we drop the back foot, opening up, warrior two. Beautiful, take a moment for your alignment, right knee over right ankle, drawing outwards, our edge of our left foot presses down into the ground, fingertips reach away from each other. Inhale, bring your hands behind your head. We're gonna crunch right elbow to right knee as we exhale. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, we crunch. Inhale, bring it back up. One more time, exhale, we crunch. Inhale, bring it back up. Reverse your warrior and windmill your hands all the way down. Step your right foot back into your plank. So we're gonna come into a side plank now. So just pivot onto the outside of your, of your feet, keeping that left foot in front of the right. You can always bring your right knee down to the ground for extra support, whatever feels best for you. Otherwise, we're here. Um, take an inhale, exhale. We bend into both knees. Reach the left arm down towards your feet, bring it back up. We crunch once more, down into our feet. Inhale, bring back up, bring it back up. Exhale, we crunch. Inhale, we lengthen. Bring that left arm down to the ground. Purely optional vinyasa. High to low, or right back to downward facing dog. Inhale, we lengthen, find up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, guys. Okay, take a moment here. Maybe you wanna lower the knees and find your child's pose. But we're gonna move on to the left side right away. Okay, if you're not in down dog already, slowly make your way back. And then on your next inhale, float your left leg high towards the sky. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. As we twist, inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, we lengthen. And then exhale, right knee, left elbow. Straighten that left leg, open up. Find your fallen triangle. Now bend into that right knee. Right arm reaches towards the right foot. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, right hand comes onto the mat. Inhale, left leg high towards the sky. Exhale, left knee to nose. Find your tiger pose. Flex the foot. Step it between your hands and pressing down into our feet. We float up to high lunge. Beautiful. Squaring off the hips, arms reaching high towards the sky. Then dropping the back foot, opening up warrior two. Take a moment for your alignment. Left knee draws outwards, pressing down through the outer edge of our right foot. Inhale, bring your hands behind your head. Exhale, we crunch elbow to knee. Inhale, we lengthen, exhale, we crunch. Inhale, we lengthen, and one more time. Exhale, crunch, elbow to knee. As we lengthen, we reverse our warrior, reach that left arm up and across. And then we windmill our hands all the way down to the ground, stepping that left foot back into a plank. We're gonna come into a side plank again. So pivoting onto the edges of our feet, toes point to the right, opening up, find our side plank. 
as on the other side you can always bring your knee down for extra support otherwise we're gonna crunch into our knees bring that right hand down towards our feet bring it back up exhale we crunch inhale we lengthen and one more time exhale we crunch inhale we lengthen bringing that right hand back down pivoting onto the balls of our feet purely optional vinyasa or right back to downward facing dog so lower down inhale up put some forwards and up and exhale downward facing dog beautiful guys lower your knees sink the hips back take a moment to connect to your breath slow it down we got one more round of, round of our flow gonna move a little bit faster with less repetitions trying to connect one breath to one movement and then we have some nice stretches at the end Just take a moment wherever you are and if you're not in downward facing dog already slowly start making your way back and then we move on to round two of our flow so take a moment to settle in and when you're ready right leg reaches high towards the sky exhale right knee to left elbow straightening out the right foot opening up fallen triangle exhale we crunch down inhale bring it back up come back to your three-legged dog exhale right knee to nose step it through pressing down into our feet to float up find a high lunge exhale we open up warrior two this time we're going to straighten our right leg reaching our right arm forward and down and find our triangle really lifting from the core inhale bring it back up and reverse your triangle and as we exhale bending into our right knee we windmill the hands all the way down stepping that right foot back gonna come into a side plank so opening up always the option to lower that right knee exhale we crunch down inhale we lengthen one more time exhale we crunch down inhale we lengthen bring that left hand back down purely optional vinyasa high to low inhale up dog or cobra and exhale to downward facing dog beautiful guys we got one more side to go and then we're done with our dynamic part of the practice and can move on to some nice stretches so take a moment here in your down dog in your child's pose let the energy settle and then we move on to the left side so make your way back to down dog if you're not here already now take an inhale lift your left leg high towards the sky exhale left knee right elbow straightening out that left foot opening up fallen triangle exhale we crunch down inhale we lift up planting that right hand down finding a three-legged down dog exhale left knee to nose step it through pressing down into our feet to float up find a high lunge exhale opening up to warrior two inhale straightening that left leg reaching the left arm forward opening up to triangle reversing our triangle bringing it back up on the inhale and then exhale bending into that left knee windmilling the hands all the way down stepping that left foot back coming into a side plank or assisted side plank whatever feels best for you to you 
and then exhale we crunch down inhale we lengthen one more time exhale we crunch inhale we lengthen planting the right hand down purely optional vinyasa high to low inhale up dog or cobra and exhale downward facing dog beautiful guys that's it that's the dynamic part of our practice lower your knees down sink your hips back find your child's pose slow it down well done everyone take a moment here just gonna have some nice stretches to end our practice with Whenever you're ready, slowly make your way back into your downward facing dog. Maybe pedaling out the feet once more. And then on your next inhale, bring your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, right leg, right knee to left elbow. Straighten that leg finding your fallen triangle once more and then lowering the hips down coming to seated okay now we're gonna inhale our hands high towards the sky exhale fold forward over your right right leg enjoying that nice fold here getting a nice stretch through the hamstrings Maybe you want to flex your foot. Maybe you want to point your, point your toes. See how it changes the stretch. See what feels good to you right now. And then slowly hovering your arms forward. Sweep them around. Bring your left forearm to the inside of your left thigh. And open up through the right, right shoulder. So right arm reaches across the hand really opening up through the shoulder getting a nice stretch through the right side of your body next inhale slowly brings you up bring your right hand onto onto your mat behind you bring your left thumb onto your chest pressing down into our right hand and into our heels toes pointing towards the ceiling see if you can lift your hips off the ground maybe float that left arm high towards the sky and then pivoting onto the sides of your feet bringing that left hand back down right leg floats high to the sky once more and then release it down to find your down dog beautiful okay left side left leg reaches high towards the sky exhale left knee to right elbow straightening it out opening up to fall in triangle and then releasing your hips down to the ground We're gonna inhale our arms high towards the sky folding over our left leg See what kind of stretch works for you here. I'm a bit limited in space, so I don't really have any other options. And then slowly sweep your arms around, bringing your right forearm to the inside of your right thigh. Left arm reaches across opening through the left shoulder staying here for another breath and then slowly coming back up 
planting your left hand onto, onto your mat, to the top of your mat, bringing your right thumb towards your chest and then see if you can press into your left hand and into your heels and lift your hips off the ground. Maybe your right arm reaches towards the sky. And then pivoting onto the sides of your feet, bringing that right hand back down to the mat, left leg back to the sky, and then release it down. Find your down dog once more. Take an inhale, come high onto the balls of your feet, gaze between your hands, and then step or jump through to seated. Let's lower ourselves all the way down to the ground, hugging our knees into our chest, giving ourselves a well-deserved squeeze. Well done, everyone. Take an inhale here, lift your nose towards your knees, squeeze every single muscle in your body for three, for two, for one, and exhale everything down to the ground. Find your final relaxation pose. Find your Shavasana. Maybe closing the eyes, returning to a more natural breath. Releasing every tension in your body. If you have time for Shavasana, please feel free to stay here. Otherwise, I'm going to end this practice right here. So thank you for letting me guide you today. I hope to see you again tomorrow for day four. Thank you for your time. Always in gratitude for you and this practice. Namaste. Namaste.